Hi everyone, I am Shubham Jhavar. I am a master teacher at Vedantu. We are discussing JE Advanced 2018, Paper 2, Mathematics. And the question for this video is this. The value of the integral, integration 0 to half, 1 plus root 3 whole divided by x plus 1 whole square 1 minus x whole to the power 6 whole to the power 1 by 4 dx is. So this is a numeric type question. As you see the question, you may clearly say that 1 plus root 3 is there to just make the whole expression or rather the final value to come something good looking you may say so uh, 1 plus root 3 you may just take it out it's a, just a constant and you may consider 0 to half integration dx by now here 2 can be cancelled out and you may write 1 plus x 1 minus x whole to the power 3 whole to the power 1 by 2 now typical way to approach this is you may divide and multiply by 1 minus x in the denominator inside this power half. So this becomes root 3 plus 1 times integral 0 to half dx by 1 plus x by 1 minus x you may say whole to the power half times 1 minus x whole to the power 4 whole to the power half basically 1 minus x whole square. Now having got this, you may take 1 plus x by 1 minus x as t. The reason being dx by 1 minus x whole square would turn out to be in terms of dt. So 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x. If you differentiate, you may get using quotient rule, you will get Careful application of quotient rule will give you this. So if you see carefully, 2 by 1 minus x square dx, sorry, 1 minus x whole square. So you may say root 3 plus 1 by 2 integral dt by root t, where the limits will vary as you put x to be 0 the lower limit would become 1 and as you put x to be half the upper limit would become 3. So essentially this becomes root 3 plus 1 by 2 integral of 1 by root t would be 2 root t with limits 1 to 3. So it essentially becomes upon cancellation of 2 you get root 3 plus 1 times root 3 minus 1 upon putting the limits. So this essentially becomes root 3 square minus 1 square which is 2. So this is the answer. Alternatively rather than dividing and multiplying by 1 minus x you could have done the same you for 1 plus x also and you would have got similar expression which is there in the solution you may see and you would have got ultimately the same answer. So answer is 2. That's all from my side. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for the next question.